welcome to Polly Put Petal On. My name is Claire and today I, you'll have seen by the thumb title guys, I'm going to do a fireplace transformation and some um, Corona Mexican Pine modification. It's new furniture that I bought and I've changed it up. I didn't want the black hardware on it so I have done my take on the Mexican Pine and it looks absolutely lovely guys. So I've just done my third coat on the fireplace now that's drying that's the third and final coat i think um i may need a touch up here and there after i've wallpapered at the weekend but it's a stone fireplace i'll just give you a very quick backstory it's a, it, and i got it second hand uh, from a lady across town she had a gas but it, a gas fire, but it was with co real coals and stuff. There was a lot of soot and it was filthy. And I tried over the past year to scrub it clean um, because I wanted to keep it brick. Uh, you know, stone, sorry, it's not brick. And, well, enough was enough. And before I paper, <clears throat> before we paper at the weekend, um, we needed to get that painted up. So there is a company called Stone Lux that make uh, paint and I went down that route initially thinking, oh yeah, I'll get this, but it costs 50 pounds, guys. So I went into being curious today and the guys there assured me that because I don't use my fire as a heat source, and I think that's quite imperative that, that you know that, because I'm not using it as a heat source because I have my central heat in, and I don't light the fire or anything. And it's an electric one anyway, because I replaced the fire. I just kept the fire surround. Um, that I could use masonry paint, guys. And it cost me £20. So I am using Brecon, Brecon Ridge in It's Brecon Ridge in colour. I'll show you that uh, when we go and have a look at the furniture and the finished fireplace. But for now, I'm going to let you go. And just I've just done a, a little bit of speed painting um and shown you the before to take you to when when we come back we'll go back down and we'll look at the after um i'm quite impressed with it so far so i'll see what you think guys because is it too bright i'm not too sure but we'll see so i'll let you go and watch that and then i'll see you back right guys so i've tidied off the uh mantelpiece the hearth as you can see it's all stained it's all dirty that's me i'm in a test patch there um i've uh what is that called that stuff that tape i want to call it frog tape but it's not masking tape i've masking taped around the floor um and i've removed the fire what i am discovering guys is where there's marks now these probably will continue to show through because i haven't primed it <clears throat> um which i should have done but i'm going to see what what happens on the second coat that's the first coat and if it if they're still there then i will get my stain block on it and uh, just spray over it and then that'll disappear so that's something to think of i've never painted a fireplace before and this this masonry paint is a bit like chalk paint but anyway let's keep going <laughs>
the first coat guys i have just sprayed a stain stop on those which is this polycell one coat stain stop uh what does it say covers most types of stains and prevents them from reappearing um so yeah i've just sprayed a little bit on there and then i've just got to wait for it to dry and then i'll give it another coat but actually the it's not too bad is it and it still looks stone so i'm quite happy with that okay i'll be back hey okay, guys so that is the finished fireplace painted and it looks it looks really okay doesn't it let's just put you there it really does look okay i'm i'm happy with it it's a lot cleaner and then of course i've got my paper i've already ordered this paper i've got it already it just needs to go on the walls but that's my sample and you can see it looks absolutely lovely doesn't it I really like it. I think it's much cleaner, so much nicer. And I'm sure that you will agree. I need to get a little bit of paint off the floor there. And the skirting boards at the either side of the fireplace, they need to be put back on. Um, I'm gonna show you a little handy tool that I picked up from eBay to help uh, Carl cut that. Um, into its proper shape so yeah so let's move on to the furniture now then guys and like i say this is corona mexican pine furniture and it's always got black hardware comes with black hardware i will try and insert some um pictures for you so that you can see um it has black studs on it it has black handles they're like ring handles ring pull handles if that's what you call them and yeah like I say black hardware so this is my tv stand I'm not showing you all of it all of it because I'd like to when I've finished the paper in when I've done the paper in and everywhere's nice and neat I'd like to show you so what I've done guys is there's David Dickinson is I have left the studs off it I think the studs would go here and there and then that you would have black handle hardware there and I have put my own handles on them and uh, let me see if I can get you closer to that I've got my own handles which I bought from Amazon I love that one, Potter Stone Precision, like a clock face. And then that one, and I wanted them odd. They do come odd. That's how you buy them in um, in a in a pack, but they're all odd, and that's what I really like about it. So that's that. There's my lovely apple that I got from the charity shop. If you remember, I think it was two pounds. So that's that. that that's my paint stick in the corner. So. They're going in the hallway, those lanterns now. I've moved Donna to the back, um, Donna's little memorial. I haven't finished it. I've just put it there for now, but I've not done the back cupboard. And then this one is my absolute favourite, guys. I love it. Oh, you have to excuse me, I get breathless. Um, so, yeah, this is my absolute favourite. I'll show you the knobs in a minute. So again, they'd have black, it, it would be black hardware and studs and stuff. But what I've done is I've added all these odd knobs. So I'd already got some in my stash. Excuse the wobbly camera. I'd already got some in my stash. Um, and I bought a pack as well. So they're all odd. I mean, there are some similar, some the same, but in different areas, different drawers. And I absolutely love it, guys. I really do. It's as if like they're antique knobs, isn't it? One-offs and stuff. But like I say, they do come in a pack. And I think I'll try, uh, if you're interested in them, I'll try and link them. Um, because they do come in different colours. Uh, I just wanted cream and gold. So I love that. 
it makes these red settees more acceptable to me now uh, this pine furniture I've got my little table there with some pampas grass and then I've got my tall cupboard at the back um, and there's my craft mat on the floor there but uh, yeah like I say I've got all my knickknacks on the table there that I need to sort out so like I say I've still some way to go I've got the paper in to do um, well not me personally but the paper in will get done and um, but I'm really happy with how that fireplace has turned out so right I'll I'll go back to the table where I'm most comfiest guys. so that's that guys um, I will flash up the name of that paint if anybody's interested in that um, I want to show you this tool that I got from eBay I have seen videos on this so it's not my idea obviously because obviously there's a tool for it but I saw it I saw a video, you're lopsided, I saw a video or two, you know, and we've got these pieces of skirting board to go back around the fire. And I thought, well, how are we going to do that? It's a complete pain in the bum. So you buy this tool from eBay. Um, I forget what I typed in to find it because I wasn't sure what its name was. You buy it from eBay. I will try and link this down below as well. So you buy it and then what you do is oh, you straighten straighten the edge like this and um, ignore this bit. This is because I've just done it because I'm going to show you quickly. So you straighten the edge like that and you push it up. You put it on a flat surface and you push it up. So for skirting boards and for me going around that fireplace, I've sat it on the floor and I've pushed it up around the fireplace. And it's given me this shape. So I know. So all you do then, goodness me. Oh, no good at stuff like this, guys. Forgive me. So all you do then is you cut. So you'll draw that around there. And that's where you will make your cut. And then it'll fit in, in place. Perfect. Um. Yeah, I can't remember what they're called, but I'll flash it up on screen. And um, on that, it's, it's brilliant because I thought, well, I wonder whether it'll work for all sorts because it can work for your floors, you know, if you're laying floors and stuff, which I will eventually be doing something in the kitchen, on the kitchen floor, because um, there's no point waiting for the housing association. And uh, I might as well do it myself. And... Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this furniture, guys. What do you think? And I'm really happy with that fireplace too. There's a wire, the uh, fireplace wire, the actual fire itself is sticking out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make glue dots in certain areas and just, you know, so that it's nice and neat going around. Um, because there's nothing I can do about it. On our last fireplace we actually had the fire that we were using anyway see we had to buy that afterwards when we realized that the gas fire that we got with that fireplace wasn't any good so but when on our first uh, fireplace installation we literally um put it behind the actual fire if you know what i mean and so you could never see it uh, but of course that's concreted in so we can't do it now we couldn't do it afterwards because you know it was already set and we weren't going to take it off the wall so that's it and I hope it, this has pieced together some kind of video to show you you know just about where 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 we're up to and uh, what I've been up to really guys um, the furniture is lovely I'm over the moon with it I'll show you this back piece further down the line it's not dressed properly but again I've sprayed those hinges it's got cupboards on it and I've sprayed the hinges instead of having the black hardware I've sprayed them gold and then I put the cream and gold handles on the, the little cupboard doors it's a tall one for this back alcove um but I'm looking forward to getting it finished and putting my knickknacks out and stuff you know um I I'll tell you what I want to show you because I do want to do a Valentine's wreath. Um, I hope I I can get one out. To, I need this table clear because I, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, I'm well. You'll see what I'm thinking when I do it. 
so yeah so i picked up a, a lovely little uh hugs and kisses valentine's sign uh gnome sign from three sisters creations and i picked up this beautiful now he's not the same gnome granted in fact there's several different gnomes on there um but he's not the same gnome but it is the same can you see so i'm looking forward to doing that i hope i've got the time uh because we are are we the first of february tomorrow so yeah i need to uh i have got this little i got this off vinted this little neon heart sign and i thought oh that could be a nice backdrop um but yeah i've got just got stuff everywhere and it's you know it's as and when <laughs> i told you i couldn't rush uh, doing stuff and i really can't because i do get so breathless doing stuff so i hope you've enjoyed the video guys and i hope you're really all right you know i i've not been here since last week um i've not been great either guys to be honest you know men mentally i've not been great and um sometimes things come to a head don't they and then i mess up uh but we don't need to go into that so so guys i hope you're all really well you've had a lovely weekend and i hope you've enjoyed the video please do let me know this is something else i'm finding things i bought these yesterday uh just little fillers really uh i want to take that white out because i love those colors together that that looks like a red but it's not it's quite it's more a deep pink uh, these were a pound each from a local pound shop. Uh, beautiful. So that really is it now, guys. <laughs> Do take care and I will see you um, as soon as I can, really. You know, I wanted to show you that fireplace because I want to know what you honestly think of the colour. You know, you can see it with the wallpaper. Do you think it's going to be... Because the warm, we're getting a lot of warmth off that wood now. You know, that wooden furniture. Um, and it really did need to be cleaned up. And it was the cheapest way to do it. Because like I say, there, there's a company called Stone Lux. And they have this fantastic... Even if your fireplace is wood, you can turn it into looking like stone. Uh, but it's £50 a tin. So... Yeah, that was the cheapest route I went down. Um, so do take care, guys, and I'll see you all again next time. Uh, possibly sometime in the week, possibly the weekend. I'm not entirely sure, or it might be next week. Um, and then we'll get back to we'll get back to uh, schedule. I really do want to bring you this wreath though, because you know, otherwise I'll be, I'm going to be out of date with it, aren't I? Uh, and I'll just have to keep that stashed off till next year. But uh, Okay, you guys take care and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye.